Hey you right guys, Trey from Mr. Joe here and today we are watching reacting to episode 2 of Westworld season 1 which I actually thought aired on Sunday night so I was going to do it Monday morning but apparently it's out now so yeah for the, uh, a lot of people kind of got mad at me in episode 1 it seemed because uh, I didn't really understand everything about it uh, I've watched it a second time a lot of people were saying it's like it's a simple show you should kind of it's not I won't say it's a simple show I think it's quite complex uh, compared to some other shows out there at the moment so but I loved the first episode, um, I'm sorry if it annoyed you that I didn't understand it all. Um, but yeah, I'm ready to jump into episode 2, kind of see what happens. We just hit 1 million views today, which is insane, like overall a million views, um, which is mad. The goal for this year was 250,000. Um, so that just blows my mind that we actually hit a million views, that's crazy. So yeah, if you enjoy, remember to leave a like. If you're new, remember to subscribe and check out all the links down below. To see if anything piques your interest. But for now, let's do this. Westworld. Also the best intro of all time. <laughs> There's an awesome intro. Oh, here we go again. I recognize you from House of Cards. There we go. Legend. We're about to arrive. May I take your glass? Yes, you may. I'll take the prick is who you really are, in which case, feel free to be someone else. So they're on the way to the theme park. Hey, so you get the spirit. train monorail. That is a sick train though. Jesus, look at it. It's all like futuristic. I thought that you couldn't get hurt here. Don't yeah, about. for now. Further out you venture, the more intense the experience gets. Oh my god, it's like. Alton Towers. You want to ask? So ask. Are you real? Are you real? Hey! Well, Is there a changing room? Or a robe? Of course. I can help you. See, so yeah, I shit these two. These two are cute together, but. Step outside. She's gonna, she's gonna just go like OP mode, destroy the system. What? I she remember when everyone died, like last episode. These violent delights have violent ends. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, it gives you chills, don't it? She's gonna be a bad guy or a good guy or girl, sorry. Oh yeah, you gotta have a hat, mate. Go for a wild one. Yeah, hey, good lad, good lad. You got it. Oh my god, this is how they get in there then. I love these like just white walls. <laughs> Just everything about it. Here we go. So how do we get into the park? Wait, what the hell? Oh, okay. I was about to say, have you done something already? What question? Who you really are? Okay, he's a I bit... I can't fucking wait to meet that guy. He's a bit trying, a bit hard, isn't he? Okay, mate. Cowboy. <laughs> the this is so this is such a good idea of a show. I love it. Ed Harris is like the one I'm just most interested by though. Just I have no idea what he's, he's doing or anything. How about I tell my man there to dig that grave a couple feet deeper? Well, it's gonna be an awful tight fit for all of them. Oh <laughs> that's a good comeback. Props to him for that one, that was uh, quick. Oh yeah, he can't die, innit? I said, there's no way he's dodging all those bullets. Uh, there's just no, no way. He'd missed the indestructible. The deepest level of this game. You gonna help me find the end? The deepest level of the game. Oh. I just, oh shit. I was gonna drag him up. But just there were different worlds though, it wasn't just like uh, West and those like I don't know, space and shit. 
，啊，不该被围到，给围起我说。What's going on? I thought they didn't have memories. Sorry, will you please excuse me? I think the main character triggered her. Oh my god. They're all, all gonna right, start right there then. So this is like the lobby area. <laughs> Place in Destiny where everyone chills out. Let's go get our feet wet, buckaroo. Let's do it. Enjoy me. So he's gonna be a new main character then. I'm assuming. We don't. That's bigger than I thought it would be. I like loads of missions when you step in, you could go be a bounty hunter or join the army, I don't know. How much bigger is it? No idea. Oh my god. I never reached What would you do first? I don't know I'll be doing. See something you like? Yep. <laughs> Erase this interaction. Confirm. Yes. Okay. Uh, getting back to she's gonna remember it all the before someone misses you. Break out. She's gonna catch the tree. Kill them all. <laughs> Friendships that don't exist. Uh, back to work. Oh my god, she's triggered again. I'm gonna use that word way too much. Is that dumb? You pay for the drinks. You have the right to gawk at me. Here he is. See if anyone wants one last turn. We recall her in the morning. Decommission her. Decommission? No. Shame. One book here. That's what you get when you act a bit weird. AI. It's always weird when they like decommission them because you see them as like they actually have feelings, but they don't. I guess they don't, but I don't know. It's so confusing. It's like the animatrix. You're wondering how to tell them from us. Well, quickest way to find out. Can we? Can we finish? <laughs> wow. <laughs> this is good to blow. See, this is your problem, my friend. You are always worried about making a mess. You are the same way. What happens if you do shoot another human? Is it like if a human shoots a human? I know what happens if like a robot shoots a human, it just bounces off. But who says this trick doesn't work? I'm guessing it does the same thing. In my possession, a map. <laughs> wow. I said, not interested. Oh my god, he, he's bled out already. I could, I could do that to AI. And I have somebody, somebody real waiting for me at home. Real? Too far, mate. That was savage. She's real. <laughs> real love. It's always worth waiting. Those two are cute. Come on, get them two together. I'm shipping all these AI and shit, and it's like not gonna happen. He's a dickhead. Hope you get shot. Is Anthony Hopkins gone out into the West World? What are you doing, mate? What are you playing at? That's the thing. I with Anthony Hopkins, you want to know more about his character because he's like. You're home. What the hell? What are we doing, Ed Harris? This looks exactly like that place in Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> That's mad. He's going to shoot your wife and kid if you don't tell him. No one can kill Ed Harris. Why are they trying? And I guess we're going to have to find a way to jog your memory. Here we go. Oh shit. There we go, unlucky mate. Such a badass. <laughs> Must be nice not being able to die. Wee. This looks so fun though, doesn't it? <laughs> So good. Oh, I love it. What happens with like knives and stuff if you get stabbed? Does that just like dim the knife or something like that? Like, man. Oh my god. Are you serious? 
Well, 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 that looks fun. <laughs> okay. She's pretty guilty, to be fair. <laughs> In her story, she said she dreamed. Do we make them dream? What the fuck would be the point of that? Well, calm down, it's asking a question. Spoken and otherwise. Hey, I saw it coming. Wow, he's died so many times. So is this another life she would have lived then? Like, back in the day. Oh shit, that would shit you up, man. Oh my god, look at him. Just go up to the window and blast him. He's got a little axe. You got a shotgun. I oh, know, someone else now, of course it is. Shit? I've seen you. You just got that shit on and rinse. You, you understand? Oh my god, she's fucking awake. What the fuck are you talking about? Bubbles. You're not making the little bubbles. You're not doing shit. Fuck. Fuck. What the fuck? fuck? Shit. What the fuck? Uh. Oh my god. Don't go out there, you're gonna get destroyed. Oh my god. Wow. She'd be so fucking freaked out though, it's like, what? It'd be trippy if she sees her. Oh my god, imagine seeing that. If she sees all her like work colleagues there and stuff. It's like hostile for her, this would be like hell. Like he was doodling kittens. I hate this guy. He's the worst, and most annoying character. On Red River. Yay. It's like a DLC. No. I knew it's going. Sorry? Something they fall in love with. Like her. They're not looking for a story that. <laughs> Tells them who they are. They already know who they are. That's what I mean. The I like that. That he was going on about the little details. So like he th he probably thinks he's the only one to have picked that up or whatever. Tip of the hat. Good one, good man. Keep the only classic. thing your story tells me, Mister Sizemore, is who you are. Ooh! Destroyed him. I love it. Something quite original. Oh, I like it something to do with this then so good this show is so good i absolutely i i love it i'm in all of it already oh my god it's one of those shows like if they released if they released them all on netflix it's one of the shows that i would binge in a day <sighs> rating my slab episode i'm feeling probably like a I'm jumping between a 9 or a 10, so I'll probably get like 9.5 out of 10. On par with the first episode, I think. I love that the AI characters, or the AI kind of, uh, the prostitute, I've got a name. Anyway, but when she kind of woke up and just kind of realised, I don't know if she realised what was going on, but she knew something was obviously not quite right. And like I said, that would be like a, literally a nightmare for her. And she was kind of relating to her having all these nightmares and stuff like that but i like the the character the guy from house of cards um ed harris's character still don't really get i get he's trying to know i guess know more about the world want to explore find this maze place wherever that might be or where, wherever that might be or wherever that may lead to um but i don't know what his kind of end game is or uh, i don't know like what the plan is with him i want to know more about his character i want to know more about anthony hopkins character i'm glad anthony hopkins savaged that guy in that final scene uh, and when he went, he's got his own uh, storyline that he's been kind of working on for a long time. Seems, again, awesome that they can just create a storyline. I just love the idea of the show. Also, the kind of start, the start of the episode where we kind of actually... Uh, I didn't think we'd kind of see how they enter the world this early, but I like the idea that they just go in, pick their costumes, what hats they want and stuff like that, um, and then just step in through the door and you're on the train. I think that's just... I love it so much. So, yeah. 9.5 out of 10 for me for this episode. Let me know your... Th what you're there? There! Oh, this is what it does to you, isn't it, Fia? <sighs> Let me know what you thought of the episode down below. And until next Saturday, leave a like if you enjoyed. Uh, if you're new, remember to subscribe and check out the links that are down in the description too. Until then, peace.